My studentship was deleted from Chicago State University portal intentionally to set me up and get me jailed. Bola Ahmed Tunbo cries out. All right, uh, Nigerians, no be small team. Bola Ahmed Tunubu has now um, dragged the uh, Chicago University to court this time. Um, according to him, he said that he is a bona fide graduate of the institute, and so um, he graduated when everyone is graduating. But then, what the school have to do is to connive is to connive with someone in the institute to delete his academic record from the yearbook so that they can use it against him. <laughs> no, be smart in how truth can this be? Let's check the content. This is today's news. A circulating claim suggests that Chicago State University CSU in the U.S. has removed Tunubu's name and academic records from the yearbook intentionally. This assertion began circulating on social media platforms, particularly Facebook and X, formerly Twitter, in late August 2023. The basis of this claim is a 32 seconds video showing a person scrolling through a website featuring old CSU yearbooks, notably yearbooks for graduating students from 1971 to 1980 are displayed with one exception csu's 1979 yearbook is conspicuously absent president tunubu's academic credentials have been challenged in court by other presidential hopefuls namely peter obi and atiku abubaka atiku abubaka in particular has contested Tunubu's claim of graduating from CSU in 1979 with a degree in business and accounting. He has sought a U.S. federal court order compelling CSU to release Tunubu's academic records. However, a closer look reveals that the site featured in the video is not CSU official website, csu.edu, but rather a page from Ancestry.com, a genealogical website. Ancestry.com has no other information aside from this. Furthermore, it's worth highlighting that CSU does not maintain yearbooks on its website. As a result, they claim that CSU deliberately removed the 1979 yearbook or any other year's edition is unfounded. You don't hear. You don't hear because that is what he is now trying to um, to to use against the the institute. It's blackmail now. That's what we call it. It's blackmail. Trying to blackmail the institute uh, that uh, the institute did not uh, do the right thing. That's what he's trying to do. But look at now. See how he failed. So, my fellow Nigerians, this is something that we need to help ourselves about. We don't need to start beating around the bush or start deceiving ourselves. You see, I would say that Tunubu, um, Tunubu is just looking for excuses. You understand? Now? He's just looking for excuses because he knows that he has been exposed. He has been exposed. So it's, it's just a shame of going back. Going back because he knows that if he goes back by saying, okay, he's he confessing. He's confessing. Now, how is he going to face the world? How is he going to face the world? So all these things uh, is what he is... Uh, trying to, um, to, to to say and also trying to, def to defend. Unknown to him that continual, you know, claim and unnecessary claim will continue to put him in more trouble, which is the truth. Okay, um, Nigerians, 
you have all heard it and you have all seen it. It's not a lie. It is truly a reality. All right. So um, based on these facts that has just been revealed, what is your own advice and what is your own take? Because things has begun to be even more, uh, more challenging and more difficult. Am I right? Of course, yes. Okay, don't forget your comments. They are still very much, very, very of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.